Back in Britain, the Jesuits have a substantial commitment to higher education and have university colleges in both London and here in Oxford. That's Greek, yes, and, and I've um, already published a translation of the New Testament and uh, the publisher asked me to complete that with doing the Old Testament, which will take a very, very long time. How long is a long time? I've told him it'll be the rest of my life. I came to Oxford intending to become a lawyer and a barrister, and quite to my astonishment, at a particular moment that I can date to within about half an hour, I suddenly realised that the only thing I can do and be happy was join these Jesuits. And that was 40 years ago, and I, I've seen no reason to change my mind since then. And in difficult times, when I occasionally I thought I ought to get a real job and get married, it was that moment that, that kept me going. You ask about education or indoctrination. Well, if it's education, then it isn't indoctrination. And my sense of Jesuit education is that we uh, always encourage people to think for themselves. And sometimes that's di the results are disconcerting. But you can't combine thinking for yourself with indoctrination. A significant proportion of the most gifted young people in the country come for three years of their lives. They are taught by a wide variety of interesting people. And if we are at least able to have conversations in those circles, we stand some chance of influencing people whom we otherwise couldn't touch. Did you say I've got a lot to learn? Heathrop College, part of the University of London, is a major educational work of the British Jesuits, providing a range of courses in theology and philosophy. With students from wide-ranging backgrounds, it's a convivial place for discussion. The Jesuits are extraordinary in being willing to put their primary tertiary educational activity into the University of London, with all that means in terms of academic excellence. And I think there is no other religious organization in the world that would do something quite so bold. The sky's a blackboard high above you, and if a shooting... One of the things that we try to do here is to enable people to get a perspective on how the culture has already shaped them and is shaping them in order, if you like, to be able to get a perspective on what the real questions are that people have. And the real questions are always about meaning, purpose and the value of human existence. Heathrop acts as a hub between religions, but the discussions are by no means reserved for seminars like this. They take the Jesuits to places where some might not expect to see them. What I need to be able to do to develop good interfaith relations is just find ways of getting into the community and engaging in some sort of friendly conversation. Once you've got in and you've got some reason to get in, all sorts of things can happen. Michael is on the front line of interreligious relations and he regularly shares his experiences at Heathrop. That's just Think for a moment about the great story of the Ramayana, the story of Rama, of Sita, and of Lakshman. Michael asks the gathering to deliver Christian messages of peace to the Hindus and Muslims of Southall. It's the Jamia Masjid, which is the oldest mosque in Southall. Okay? If you look just up on the other side of Southall, Number two, at the top of West End Road, is the Abu Bakr Mosque, okay? In the first place, it's a matter of preparing the ground, which will allow people of faith to, to get together, talk to each other, learn from each other, I hope, build up a, you know, a decent, coherent community, which crosses all sorts of faith boundaries. That's, that, that's what our mission is.